In this video, I'm going to talk about the payback period. Payback period is the, the earliest time that an investor can recover his uh, or her uh, investment, his capital cost. Uh, payback period is the time that is required for the positive cash flow, uh, the earnings, to recover the negative cash flow, which was the investments, which was the, the capital costs. Uh, payback period can be calculated for uh, undiscounted cash flow and also for the discounted cash flow uh, and it can be uh, calculated from the beginning of the project or from the, uh, the start of the production uh, and uh, obviously the earlier the, 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 the shorter the, the payback period uh, is better for the for the investor uh, it is reflecting the the time that uh, the investor can get uh, his or her money back a disadvantage of a uh, payback period is uh, the payback period is not uh, reflecting uh, any information about the performance of the of the project after the capital cost is recovered so let's work on this example and see how we can calculate the payback period for a cash flow. So this cash flow is, uh, is uh, an after-tax cash flow for a project. We are going to have investment at the present time at, and at year one, and we are going to have earnings from year two to year five. The first step in calculating the payback period is calculating the cumulative cash flow. So in this row, I have calculated the uh, cumulative cash flow for year zero or present time. Uh, the cumulative cash flow equals the, the capital cost at present time. Uh, for year one, the cumulative cash flow is the uh, cumulative cash flow of, of the previous year plus the cash flow at year one, which this summation is going to be 450 dollars cumulative cash flow at year two is the summation of cash flow uh, at year two and the cumulative cash flow at year one and so on so as we can see here the sign of cumulative cash flow changes between year three and year four so the payback period is going to be three plus something, some fraction. So the investor is going to recover the capital cost of $200 uh, at present time and $250 at uh, year one. Uh, the investor is recovering this capital cost somewhere between year three and year four. So the payback period is going to be three point something. And how do we calculate that fraction? Uh, the fraction is actually uh, is 120 divided by this interval, the difference between these two numbers, the cumulative cash flow at year three and the cumulative cash flow at year four. So 120 divided by this difference, which is going to be 220, is going to give us the fraction of uh, the payback period. So uh, the payback period for this investment is going to be 3 plus 120 divided by 220, which is going to be 3.55 years. And we can also calculate the payback period from the beginning of the production as you can see here the production starts from year two so uh, the payback period from the beginning of the project is going to be 3.55 and if we want to calculate the payback period from the beginning of the production the production from starts from year two so we have to uh, deduct two years from the payback period that we calculated so uh, payback period from the beginning of the 
uh, project minus uh, two, the, the production year, equals 1.55 for the payback period after the production. Uh, please note that uh, the, the payback period is 3.55 and it is not going to consider any payments or project performance after these uh, year uh, four. So whatever happens in the project is not going to be reflected in the payback period. So let's use Excel spreadsheet to calculate the uh, payback period for this example. Uh, first step is uh, calculating the cumulative cash flow. Uh, for the present time, the cumulative cash flow equals uh, $200, the capital cost at present time. Cumulative cash flow for year one equals the cumulative cash flow of the previous year plus the cash flow at year one. And uh, we can apply these to the other cells and we can calculate the uh, cumulative cash flow for other years uh, similarly. So as you can see here, the sign of the cumulative cash flow changes uh, from negative to positive between year three to year four. So payback period is going to be three plus a fraction. And how do we calculate the fraction? We have to uh, calculate the, uh, the 120 divided by the difference between these two numbers, which is 220. So it is 120 divided by uh, 220, which is going to be 3.5. Uh, I could also refer to the cells here, but be careful when you're referring to these cells. This, this has a negative sign, so you need to uh, add a negative sign to make sure the result is going to be positive. This number uh, divided by this one minus this one. And again, please uh, double check. You have to include a, no a negative sign here uh, because this number has a negative and, and you want to make sure your uh, payback period is three plus something. We can also calculate the payback period for a discounted cash flow. And uh, let's work on this example, considering the 15% minimum rate of return or discount rate and calculate the discounted payback period. First, we need to calculate the discounted cash flow. Uh, so we uh, discount uh, every year's cash flow by 15% uh, and uh, number of years. And uh, then we calculate the cumulative uh, discounted cash flow, which is the, the summation of uh, cumulative for, for, for present time. It equals the cash flow at the present time for year one, it equals the cumulative cash flow at year zero plus the, the cash flow of year one and so on. Same for the other years. So again, as you can see here, the cumulative discounted cash flow, uh, the sign of cumulative discounted cash flow changes from negative to positive uh, between year four and five. So. Uh, the, the payback period for the discounted cash flow, discounted payback period, is 4 plus a fraction. How do we calculate the fraction? The, 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 uh, the fraction equals uh, the, the cumulative cash flow at year 4, cumulative discounted cash flow at year 4, divided by this difference, divided by the difference between uh, cumulative cash flow, cumulative discounted cash flow of year five and year four, which equals the cash flow at year five. So it is going to be uh, four plus uh, 
uh, 59.83 divided by 99.44 which is going to be 4.6 years uh, discounted payback period and again we can calculate this from the beginning of the pr uh, production uh, which is year 2 so we deduct two years from uh, this 4.6 and we report 2.6 as or the discounted uh, payback period from the beginning of uh, production. So let's uh, calculate the discounted payback period using uh, Excel spreadsheet. So uh, I need to calculate the, uh, the first thing is I have to calculate the discounted cash flow. So uh, the discount rate was 15%. So I discount the cash flow uh, by 1 plus 0 0.15 uh, power the year uh, present time uh, capital cost doesn't need to be discounted and the power is 0 so it has to be the same and we apply that to the other years and then we have to calculate the cumulative discounted cash flow. Which for the present time equals the, uh, the discounted cash flow for year one equals the cumulative discounted cash flow of the previous year plus the cash flow of the current year so this is the cumulative discounted cash flow for year one and i will apply this to the other years so and uh, as you can see here uh, the the cumulative discounted cash flow uh, the sign of cumulative discounted cash flow changes from negative to positive somewhere between year uh, four and year five now i have to calculate the discounted payback period So discounted payback period equals uh, 4 plus a fraction. To calculate the fraction, uh, we have to divide 59.83 uh, by, by the difference between the, the cumulative discounted cash flow of year 4 and year 5. This difference equals this one. So I can either uh, uh, use this number or I can calculate the, the difference again because this number has a negative sign please make sure that you include a negative sign uh, for uh, this number so i will say uh, minus this divided by uh, this number minus this number and it should be for something so again, as you can see here, uh, this is the discounted uh, payback period. It is 4.6, which